Hey Cornerstone kids and families, I hope that you've had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Hope you're looking forward to 2022. I know I am. We just wanted to take some time this morning to share with you about what we are looking forward to learning about together as we head into the month of January. So check this out. Bethany from the nursery and I just want to say happy new year and I'm so excited to share with you what we're learning this month at nursery. Do you love reading bedtime stories? It's one of my favorite things to do too and this month we're learning all about how Jesus teaches us important things and often he does it through his stories. It's such a fun easy way to learn. One of my favorite bible stories is the story of the prodigal son. In Matthew 7 28 this month we're learning that it says the crowds were amazed at his teaching. I can't wait to learn more about what Jesus has to teach you and I and watch Ollie together soon. Hi everyone, I hope you had a great Christmas and a great new year. I'm so excited to be jumping into our new series for the month of January called Storytime. This month we're gonna be learning about stories that Jesus told and he used these stories to teach us and the people around him really important things. One of my favorite Bible stories is the story of the prodigal son. It's a story about a father and a son, and the son took all his money and he went far away and he spent all his money, and when he had no money left to buy food or clothes, he came back home. And the father wasn't sad or upset, he was so, so happy to see his son, and he ran to him and he gave him a great big hug, and then he threw him a huge party. And Jesus told this story so that we can know how much God loves us, and he loves us no matter what. So we are so loved by Jesus and important to him. And this is important for us to remember when we go out so we can help people around us. We can share our things with people and we can just live the way that God has called us to live. So I'm excited to get to learn more about these awesome stories in the Bible with you. So maybe this week, if you have some time with your family, you can take a little minute and read some of these stories about Jesus. There's some really cool ones like the story where Jesus walks on water in Mark 6 or the story about a treasure hunt in Matthew 13, or there's a little man, or a really short man, his name was Zacchaeus, and that story's in Luke 19, or there's a story about a lady who uses her hair to wash Jesus' feet, and that's in John 12. I can't wait to hear about the stories that you read with your family, and when we're all back together, we can share and uh, just learn some more together. and 5-6. I hope you've been having a great Christmas break. I wonder if during your Christmas break you've had more time to watch TV shows, watch movies, maybe you're playing uh, your favorite video game. Regardless of what you're doing, if you're watching a show, a movie, playing a video game, you are gonna need this. This is a remote control and the person who holds this holds all the power, right? This month in elementary, we are learning about self-control. Self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. As we follow Jesus throughout our lives, the Holy Spirit helps us to become more like Him. When it comes to self-control, we can follow Jesus and choose to do what we should do, even when we don't want to or even when it might be hard. The Holy Spirit can actually give us the power and the wisdom that we need to have self-control. I know, at least for me, I've had to have a lot of self-control this week. I've had to wait to open presents. I've had to have self-control so I don't eat too many sweets and get a tummy ache. I know that I've been hanging out with my family a lot and sometimes we have to have self-control to make sure that we're still being kind and, and saying the right things, right? And God has helped me with all these things. I wanna share a verse with you right now. This is 2 Peter 1.3 and it says, God's power has given us everything we need to live a godly life. I love this and I can't wait to explore with you what it looks like to have God help us and give us self-control. I would love for you this week to take some time together as a family, maybe look up Galatians 5 and read about all the fruit of the Spirit. And maybe you want to throw in the comments or send us a message and tell us which fruit of the Spirit do you think can also help you to have self-control. Can't wait to dive into this more in elementary with Evan and Nikki and our whole crew. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hey kids and parents. 
it's Laura here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I just want to take a little bit of time right now and pray for us as families as we are heading into a new week. If you want to close your eyes and bow your heads, we can pray together. Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit that is living in us and that's working in us and that is bearing good, good fruits in our lives, God. I pray that you will help us to become more like you, Jesus, as we learn about self-control this month. Thank you that your spirit is in us and it's bringing good gifts out of us that show your love and kindness to those around us. God, I want to thank you for each family that's represented at Cornerstone. Thank you for how they are representing you in their homes and in their interactions with family and friends, in their work and in school and in all of their activities. God, I pray that you will give so much wisdom and strength to us this week as parents as many of us are navigating through some interruptions to our normal routines and schedules. God, I pray that you will help us to trust you and to pursue you every day. I pray that there will be wonderful glimpses of um, just moments together as families that are maybe unexpected but that bring us joy and peace this week, God. Thank you that you are with us and that you're working through us. And I just pray that as we go through our week that you will keep us healthy, God, and that um, we'll be able to live in community with each other and with our family. In your name, amen. Everyone, I hope you have enjoyed this little update from our kids' ministry teams. I just want to let you know that our links for all the Bible story videos for this Sunday uh, have been sent out in an email, and you can check those out if you want to watch what our Bible story is for this week for nursery, preschool, elementary, and 5-6. I hope that you guys have a great week, and hopefully we'll see you soon.